I thought it was the ugliest handbag, honestly, from Hermes. Hi guys, and welcome or welcome back. If you are new around here, my name is May, and today we're gonna talk everything Hermes handbags. I curated a list as to what I think are the top Hermes handbags out there in the market, and I kind of wanted to do a rapid fire, maybe not so rapid kind of opinion as to each of these pieces. This is just my personal opinion. Of course, I would love to hear what your opinions are in regards to these pieces, and we can have a little conversation going in the comment sections down below. It's gonna be in no particular order, to be honest. I'm just kind of like gonna share what the handbag is, what I like, what I don't like, current price point, so on and so forth. So let's start off with my personal favorite, and of course, that is going to be none other than the Birkin. I have my baby right here, which I was able to get offered this year, and she still like just makes my heart so, so happy. I can't believe she's mine. But yes, this is the Birkin. Mine is in the size 25 gold with gold hardware. The Birkin comes in various sizes. It goes from, I believe there's a size smaller, which I don't know if it's currently in production or if that's just a special order option. But I do think there's a size 20, which is very similar to the Mini Kelly. And then it goes all the way up to a 40. Correct me if I'm wrong. I personally feel like the Birkin is a stunning silhouette. It is a very practical kind of style for my lifestyle in particular. I love a good top handle option. It's one of the main things that I search for in any handbag that I add. And the fact that this is a top handle and you still kind of get sort of like that tote style, which means that it's like an open sort of concept. You know, you can just have it completely open, put your things inside, grab them in and out very, very easily. For me, is the perfect style, as I said, for my personal life and how I like to carry my bag. The Birkin is definitely one of those pieces that a lot of people strive to obtain from the fashion house. I think it's due not only to obviously the history and the craftsmanship, but again, it's due to the fact that it is a very kind of practical sort of style where you could incorporate it in your life for many, many years. However, let's dive to the other end of the spectrum and that is the Kelly. I think that that one has its negatives and its positives. I do feel like a flap style of handbag can be both a little bit uncomfortable but at the same time very comfortable because it's easy to close even though for the Kelly you do get a lot of negative feedback as to the opening and the closure of that bag I personally feel that the return style is a lot easier to maneuver I did get the chance to play with a cellier recently when I visited the boutique and it definitely felt very stiff for my personal style i definitely like kind of like that more sort of casual vibe so again i feel like the return for me would be a lot easier to kind of play with and maneuver and just in general if you own a Salier Kelly or a Retourne or both, lucky you, let us know in the comment section what your thoughts are in regards to kind of like maneuvering and handling each. Now, the Kelly does have an advantage over the Birkin and that is that it does come with a strap, which I really enjoy and I feel like adds a little bit more versatility to the handbag. The Kelly comes in the Mini Kelly, which I just recently found out that I think they had like a 15 size. It is considered right now a vintage piece, I believe, but even smaller than the Mini Kelly. And then you have it go all the way up to a 32, I believe is the largest one. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. For me in particular, I would dabble between the 28 and the 25 just because I love the Mini Kelly. I'm starting to love the Mini Kelly. Let me correct myself because I said that I would never add one and then I was talking to my essay the other day and she's like, yes, you will. Just wait and see. And I was like, oh no, now I'm like diving into a Mini Kelly research rabbit hole. But yeah, I do feel that the 25 or the 28 are more practical in a sense. You can carry, you know, a little bit more in there. You can definitely carry your essentials without any problem. So those two, the Birkin and the Kelly, I feel are like the most popular. When you talk about Hermes, everybody thinks about those two silhouettes. However, you guys, there are so many more beautiful handbags that Hermes offers. 
Let's dive into one that I own and that is the Picatin. So I do have the Picatin in the size 18 and this one also comes in a variety of sizes. So you do have a micro, which I think it's so, so cute. The 18, I honestly think it's a great size if you want a practical bag that you can take from day to night. The 22, in my opinion, I feel is a great work bag. I love like the slouchiness that the 22 gets. I also think it looks a lot cuter when the sides cinch in on the 22 because you still see that you have like a handbag rather than on the 18 when the sides kind of cinch in i feel like it kind of loses the original shape i don't know let me know what you guys think do you own the picatin in what size what are your thoughts i do believe that as you go bigger which i did share in my review video for this piece the slouchiness of the leather is definitely going to show a lot quicker now let's jump into a silhouette from the fashion house that i hated I thought it was the ugliest handbag honestly from Hermes I was like I don't get it like how do people like that but here we are me doing research as to potentially adding this piece at some point and that is going to be the Lindy oh my god you guys I let me correct myself I still I'm not crazy about the larger size just because I am honestly not a hobo or like a one strap shoulder kind of girl. I like if I'm wearing something over my shoulder for it to have two straps so that I can pull out one strap, kind of get in and then put it back on. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me bring you up a bag so I can demonstrate. So this style of handbag, this style of tote is what I prefer. So I can throw it over my shoulder. And if I need to get into the bag, I can do so like this and then be able to put the strap again on my shoulder. Where the Lindy, in order to get into the bag, I do feel like you need to completely take it off your shoulder and then you have to place it down somewhere and then you have to get into it. So for me, having to go through that mission some bags are just not worth the fussiness in my opinion. Therefore, I would definitely consider adding the mini Lindy. I love this little piece crossbody. I think it's so fun. It's very unique also. Now, I previously mentioned at the beginning of this video that I am a top handle girl like through and through. That is one of the things that I definitely want from my handbags. And even though the mini Lindy does have the top handles on the side, I also feel that I wouldn't wear it top handle just because I don't find it comfortable the way that it would sit on the crook of my arm. The mini size for it being mini, I do feel like it fits a good amount of things and it would be kind of like a great travel bag or just a great bag to have like if you're going out during the day, hanging out with the girls, going on a day date, anything like that. I feel like that piece would definitely be one that I would enjoy using. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see where the Hermes kind of roads will take me, but it's definitely one that I have been eyeing and one that I definitely didn't think had a lot of potential, but again, here we are. Sticking with crossbodies, let's talk about one that I had the opportunity to play with earlier on this year, and that is the Her Bag. I loved how kind of like casual this style was. There is a lot of kind of negative feedback in regards to this piece out in the internet. A lot of people talk about the opening and closing kind of like the Kelly. It is a little bit fussy. You just kind of have like a little hook that pops out or like a round piece. And then you have to be very mindful, very demure. <laughs> <laughs> totally kidding I just thought it was fitting but anyways very mindful when you are closing the flap because it is like you have to play around with it for it to hook so as I was doing research and I ran into that and I played with the one that I did in the boutique I definitely saw that that could be like a huge headache and a huge con i thought i would like to have this piece and kind of have it open and like go with that slouchy sort of very casual vibe but the one that i was looking at which was the smallest they recently just released a smaller one but that one doesn't have a top handle so i would like for it to have a top handle but yes the one that i played with it was way too big so that was very quickly crossed off my handbag sort of list another one that i haven't been able to see and i think could have potential is the her bag but in sort of like the cellier style now let's talk about the garden party funny enough when 
I started my sort of Hermes journey and when I wanted to get offered my Birkin there was a point where I was literally like thinking about quitting and giving up and I was like you know what I think I'll just be happy with a garden party but I knew deep down inside I wouldn't because the smallest option for the garden party is a size 30 and for me and my personal lifestyle I do feel like that is a little bit too large at the moment I still think it could work and I still do consider adding that piece. I think that I would probably go like a fun pop of color. I feel like Hermes does color so, so beautifully. This one also comes in various sizes, also various materials. They do have some beautiful canvas ones that I feel would be great if you wanted like a really big travel piece. Also, if you just wanted a very kind of casual bag and the her bag isn't really your style this tote style from the garden party i think it's very practical very easy to use keep in mind it doesn't come with a crossbody it's just sort of like a top handle kind of bag but again i think that the fact that you do have different varieties to choose from i say choose from as if you can walk into the boutique and be like let me get that one in that color combo and i'm good to go unfortunately that's still not the case for these pieces but you know what i mean the fact that they do release them in certain combinations depending on what your lifestyle is i feel like gives you options as to even price range because there are some that are less expensive than others now of course we can't do an hermes handbag video and not mention the constants you guys i think that i will never own a constance i don't think that that is like my particular style of handbag we go back to my personal preference for handbags this is more of either a crossbody or a shoulder type of handbag and even for occasions where i could carry a shoulder bag and kind of make it look a little bit more formal I would opt going for like maybe a mini Kelly in that instance because of the top handle or maybe even like a clutch style of handbag. So the Constance is one that I love seeing it from afar. We have various sizes once again in this kind of silhouette. I personally would go the bigger size just because I feel like a lot of people see this bag as like a more formal style of handbag and I would ultimately style it a little bit more casual like a pair of jeans and a cute like off the shoulder top with some heels or even like a cute flowy dress some wedges and then this bag on my shoulder so that's kind of the way that i would go about it all right we are almost reaching the end in this hermes handbag sort of list and let's talk about the i think it's called the 24 or 24 slash 24 something like that and this one is very similar to the kelly in the sense of the style so it is sort of like a small little flap at the opening and then you do have the crossbody options however the kelly for me is a little bit more structure and you can have the kelly flap open and the bag kind of still stays put whereas for the 24 i think that you can't carry it with that flap undone you definitely need to always have the flap kind of closed in order to carry it if you wanted to carry it as a top handle it leans more towards the casual aspect for me rather than the kelly i feel like the kelly can be either dressed up or down where this one i definitely see it more as a casual sort of handbag i do like that you have various sizes again because it gives you the opportunity to play around with what size suits your lifestyle the smaller ones i think would be such a cute little option as a little like crossbody for like travel purposes or again if you just prefer a crossbody and then you do have the larger options which i really feel can be like a super chic work bag as well so this one is one that i actually contemplated at one point because i did see neil i'll make sure to tag his handle here he has a beautiful hermes like diverse collection and he has one of these that's kind of like the first time that i ran into it and i was like "Ooh, i kind of like that but i don't love it enough to think that i would add it to my collection okay we have two last pieces that i want to address from the little list that i made and i know that hermes has a lot more handbags than the ones that i mentioned i just kind of wanted to talk in regards to the ones that i think are the most popular in a sense we're gonna leave the one that i'm actually contemplating as the last one so the one that i wanted to share first is the in the loop and i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know this one is one that i honestly don't really like i don't like it when you cinch it in 
it gives me like that north south sort of silhouette of a handbag which i personally don't like at all and then when you cinch it out i don't think it gives enough shape for it to like stand out in a way at least for me i do really like that they release it in so many beautiful colors and different combinations the sort of like canvas one with a different color leather trimming is absolutely stunning i think i need to try this one in the boutique and kind of see how i feel about it how i kind of handle it and carry it and how it looks on me but it's one of those that I see and I don't get excited about. I don't know if it'll grow on me or not. Now, the last one that I want to dive into is going to be the Bolide. In particular, the size mini. I think this is so, so cute. I actually think that this would be a good alternative rather than going the mini Kelly route because I do feel that the mini Bolide would be a little bit more comfortable to carry my night out essentials or whatever essentials i need to carry for that particular occasion where i would choose that bag i also feel like going a black leather route would be great in order to incorporate that bag for like nights out where the mini kelly i do think it's super cute very chic but we all know again very kind of like uncomfortable to maneuver your things in and out of i don't even think if it's an iphone pro max correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section down below but i feel like the mini bow lead is just one of those bags that can be very versatile it is also the first handbag that was made with a zipper like ever i learned this information from isabel i think her handle is world of harris another beautiful hermes handbag collection but yeah she got i think it's one of those blue box sort of handbags which is like a limited edition kind of very difficult to get off her piece and as she did the unboxing she shared that the bolide was actually the first handbag in which they were able to add a zipper to so it has a ton of history but i also feel like it is a very practical bag one that also comes in various sizes it also has the opportunity for you to add a crossbody strap to comes with its own personal crossbody but you could interchange it with other ones it just depends on what you ultimately want i always think that you know if you really want a specific specific silhouette wait it out save and add the one that you want because even though you try to settle for another style at the end of the day the one that you really wanted is always going to stay at the back of your mind so i always really do my research and kind of see okay is this really going to check off all the boxes that this one does or is this one the one that i know i really really want and therefore just wait it off until i can get the one that i really really want so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to sit down and have a chat with you guys in regards to other Aramis handbag pieces. Let me know out of the ones that I didn't mention which you like or which you have and own and enjoy from your Hermes handbag collection. And if I miss any sort of key point in regards to the ones that I did talk about today. As always, I appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to hang out with me today. And I hope to catch you all in my next one. Bye everyone.